Hello and welcome to our channel. This is Omit. Today is my first video in this channel. So today we are going to talk about uh, a ticket terminal. So we will create one application, one weather application. So through this we will uh, learn ticket uh, database connection and API call. So we will learn three things. The but first we will learn Tkinter. So Tkinter is a module in Python uh, for creating GUI application. So without any further delay, let's start with Tkinter. So first, I'm uh, going to show you what kind of application we are going to make. So this is the application. So if I log in, so after login, one window come will come asking for the city name if i provide one city name suppose kolkata we will get the weather details of kolkata so we will get today's temperature uh, current temperature maximum minimum temperature pressure humidity so all this detail so uh, i am getting this details data from one open weather web service so uh, today we will going to talk about how to call this so first uh, go to tkinter so as i said tkinter is a gui model so uh, for first thing we need to do is to import the library so import tkinter so if tkinter is not installed in your python then you will get some error that this model is not present so you need to install it first through the uh, pip command pip install tkinter so after installing that uh, you start programming so we import tkinter and first thing uh, is to create a window gui window for that tkinter has one class called tk so the tk class will return an object of uh, window so i am naming it as uh, some name suppose window so after that uh, you can set a different parameter in the window suppose title title uh, and weather then uh, set the size of the window i'm setting as uh, 280 cross 300 and uh, 280 is the width uh, 300 is the height of the window and uh, we can set also the color background color for that window dot so config black so before changing the color i am willing to show by default it comes with gray 
to load the window, you have to call the main loop method. Okay, so that's it. So if I run this program, you will get this window. So it's not uh, looking good. It's kind of old kind window. So if I change this, then it will, okay. Okay, okay sorry. Okay, so let's enter some uh, labels and text fields like login, user ID, password, and two button login and register. So to do so, uh, Tinder has one uh, class called level. So in this level, we have to send the reference, window reference here, then text. Uh, suppose welcome, welcome to open weather. Okay, good. Now you have to fit it, means you have to place this uh, level to some position in the window. For that, I am using grid method. So you can use grid or back. So grid is basically um, separate the window in rows and columns. So, so, uh, so it is basically like a Excel sheet. So I'm placing it in the row zero and column zero in the first place. And let's check how it is coming now. Okay, so see the level is coming, but the thing is it is coming in gray background. So we have to change this gray background and we have to change the uh, text color also. So let's make the change for that bg equals black bg is background and foreground equals suppose yellow so now see so it is coming it is looking good so next, same way, I am writing the login.
Now I'm placing it below them this line. Below this line. So row will be one and column will be zero. Okay. Now I am going to enter one text field. So for that, the enter has a class called entry. So in the same way, we have to pass the window and that's all. So changing the column to one so it will place beside this user ID. so let's see so now yeah so it is looking good now let's enter the password in the same way Now I'm entering row two, column zero, and it's row two, column one. Okay, now uh, one thing we need to do here, yeah, we don't want to show the password, so we have to write so. Star. So it will come as a star. Now, so if I write anything here, it is coming as a normal text, but here it is coming as star. Now we have to enter the button. For that, the enter has button class. Where we have to pass window and do we also want to change the background and foreground color? Let's give the text. Now I am changing the color, background color as yellow, so that it will, it will look, look good, so black, and we have to place this grid. Now row will be. Four. I'm giving four. The reason I will tell later. So let's see. So now it is coming like this. But the thing is, this text box and this button are merged.
this text field and the button is intersecting so we have to place one dummy level in between this entry and the button that's why i am using both level 3 will enter here so let's go there will be no text blank and the row will be three so now see now it is coming good so after that now if i click this button nothing is working because we have not written any code there so we have to write the code for that uh, we have to first capture the user id and the password given in the text field so that we can pass in the login so for that we have to write one thing that is text variable some variable name suppose user id should come here so in the entry we should write there is so what it now it is one error is coming here because the variable is not declared so in order to declare the variable we have to write tkinter dot string verb so now this is resolved in the same way we have to write it in the password So password is also not declared. We have to declare this. Okay. So now one more thing whenever this button is clicked we have to trigger some function for that we have to write command equals to function name login now command equal to register okay now we have to declare this function so we have to declare this function above these two lines so we have to declare it here above if we declare below the python will not find that method and error will come so let's declare the function first so to declare function if uh, so printing something
let's check and uh, one more thing i like to do here so i want to pass this user id and password through this function code so function will be like this user id password so this two parameter i want to pass it here so For that, I have to write a comment like this. Lem Lambda hello and the function user ID and password. Okay, good now here it don't come as a string to so to get the string value from this user id and password right dot get so it will come as a string value now let's this user ID. Let's write something. That's it for Tikinter. We can customize many things in Tikinter, but uh, this is the basic thing. So in next part, we'll discuss about the database connection and the API call. So for this part, bye and welcome to our channel. So today is the second part of the open weather app. Today uh, we are going to show the database connection and API call. But before starting with uh, database connection, I like to mention something. Uh, in previous part, I forget to mention this. So in Tikinter, you can also create checkbox or radio button so the process of creating checkbox is similar to creating level or entry or button here the parameter few parameter are different like uh, in checkbox you provide the window text as usual and a variable instead of text variable you provide variable so in variable you declare the variable name and uh you have to main, uh, uh, declare the variable here so after that uh, on value means when this checkbox is checked what will be the value of this variable you mention and of value what will be the value of this variable so suppose uh, if the this checkbox is checked then value will be like yes if not checked then value will be no remember value will be no so this is for the check button and radio button radio button is similar but here uh, you have uh, mentioned the variable name but here you have mentioned the value and the value if this radio button is selected the language value will be english if this radio button is selected then language value will be hindi so let's see how it looks so yeah so mainly 
it looks like this so you can change the color background color so uh, that's it for this then uh, moving to uh, the database connection so first register user have to register first so in a register um, you have to in a this function you will create a one window that takes the first name last name email id whatever you want to save in database you can put there so to save some time i'm just copying and paste this function so as you see this register function is called from here from this button okay so just copy this portion special about this you can easily create this so here uh, we just declaring this first name last name email uh, this variable whatever we are going to use here to store in database so uh, here you provide uh, the level of first name then you provide the entry of first name and storing the value text variable value in first name so this is the same thing and after that after collecting all the data you are uh, implementing two button one is register and one is cancel so whenever register button is clicked you are calling one function so this function pass that values whatever uh, we can we get from this window so we are passing this value and just background color so that's all and uh, if you user create uh, cancel then this window will be destroyed so the destroy uh, property is called here so this our window register window will be destroyed so now we have not cleared this function that's why this error is coming now so let's declare the function so we have to declare it over over this function so i'm declaring it here what is the name db connect register just copying this in the whole thing so here we are also passing this r window register window here so now what do we need to do so first of all we have to get the string value from this variable for that fm equals to first name dot get so that's in that way we will declare so i'm just copying
So after that, uh, here we declare one function that is encrypt password. So encrypt password, uh, it is doing, we should not store the text password in our database. It should be hashed. So what it is doing, it is returning the hashed password value. So in this function, we are importing the crypt context. In crypt context class, you will define the schemas, means what algorithm this class can support. So we are instantiating this crypt context class while instantiating we are providing the schemas what this script context can support then we are declaring the default value among this algorithm so we, this algorithm script context can support sa 256 md5 or ds so we are setting this default value and we are uh, providing the default rounds so after that we are hashing our password we are passing this password here and we are hashing and here we don't mention uh, the default schema so by default it takes the chart Two five six. After that, we are returning this, and we are we will store this value in our database. So uh, we are going to make the database connection. So in database connection, we can get some error. So we want to handle the error. For that, we will write the code under trial test so in uh, as i mentioned uh, for a uh, database connection uh, python has different connector for different database so for my as well it has my as well connector so in this project uh, we will use mysql database so uh, let's start first we have to create the connector for that mysql dot connector dot Connect. Connect. So this is a uh, function in this package. So first it will take the in this you have to uh, specify the host. What is the host name? So in this case it is local host then you have to specify the uh, username so user id is root then you have to specify password So you have to specify the user and the password. So I'm not going to type the password here. So I have written the password in the file. Uh, so 
so in the pwd file i have written the password so i am reading from the file for that i uh, python has open method so in open method you don't need to import any library so just mention the file name pwd.txt and the mode or you can skip it also so it will pass file so after that uh, you have to read the file that is the I'm declaring this variable as pass. So pass file dot read line. So it will read the line one by one from the password. So currently in password we have only the password. So it will store this value here in this string. So here I am going to mention the pass. Okay, so now we got the connector. So I'm mentioning it. Now we have to get the cursor. It is quite similar to JD Business Connection from Java. So for after getting connected, you have to get the cursor. Now, using this cursor execute method, you have to execute the command. So, before executing the command, you have to write the command first. So, I'm just copying the commands. So, here, first command is So, the first we are using the database use open with a store. I have created one database in a, my database, MySQL database. So, after that, you are creating the table. If not exist, the user table. You are defining all the columns and their size data type after that you insert one row in the database so in user table you are inserting one row so after that uh, you are mentioning the argument so here you mention the values. This value is referred in the argument. So you have to pass this argument. In argument, you are capturing the 
first uh, first name last name email like this so it will be f name mm -hmm. after that you are using the execute method of parser in execute method you are providing the query simply passing that query string value after that you are committing then what actually it should work now so i'm just testing one thing let's run this code and click the register button and some error it is not indent okay so one important thing so here you open the cursor and connector so in finally finally block you have to close this cursor first cursor dot close then connector dot close it should be so let's register Okay now see whether in database See, 
the entry has been created in the database. So the password is hashed here. So I think it's okay. So after that, uh, if someone register, they should get one window that you are registered or something. So for that, we have to create one more window. So in this case also, I'm just copying. And also uh, we have to declare this exception. If some exception occur, then we have to mention this. And after commit, so after commit, we have to destroy the register window. So now we see that after register, also this window is appearing, which should not be the case. So we have to destroy this window and we have to create one new window printing the success message. So let's copy this because if I am going to write this, it will take more time. So in the success window, we are just mentioning that you have successfully registered in open weather. After that, you, uh, you are providing one OK button. That button will destroy the uh, newly created window. So let's see once. Then we'll move on to login. So let's put something, something. So like this it will come and as you see the register window is destroyed and if you clear on ok then this window will also destroy it. after this uh, we should uh, concentrate on login so in login what will happen in login we will search uh, in the database with the provided email id and we'll check whether there is any uh, entry for this email id and we'll also bring the password of that entry if the password is matched with the uh, provided password in this case the password will be hashed so we'll get the hashed uh, value of the password so we have to first uh, make another uh, function to verify the password so i'm just to verify the password we are defining one check password method So in the check password, we are doing the same thing, the fit context. We are uh, instantiating this object. Then we, we are using verify. Instead of uh, using hash, we are using verify. And in verify, we are passing the password provided in the login screen and the database password so in we are calling this from the login method providing the password we get from database 
So again, we have to connect to the database in same way. So again, I'm copying the because the code is not small. It will take time. So So now I'm explaining this login user ID. So I have to change the name here. So we are getting the username and password, the string value here. And same way we are uh, getting the connector. Then in the cursor, after getting the cursor, we are selecting the query. So we are selecting with the email ID. We are query, do, doing the query in the database when email ID is the provided email ID. So in argument, we are providing the email ID. So then the same way cursor.execute to select the database and then cursor.execute to execute this select query. And uh, we are fetching the data and we are checking whether this is count equals one. So email id is unique in the database and sh we should get only one email id or we should not get and uh, get uh, any email id at all so after that we are just uh, looping the record so ideally there should be only one record. So uh, in that, we are getting the first column. So here uh, in select query, we get a list of columns. Here there is only one column, which is password. And we are getting it by using the zero index. Then we are checking whether this password is matching with the password provided or not. So here we are checking. And if this method return true, if the verify method return true, then we are allowing for login. Then if uh, we, after login, we are calling one function. So in that function, again, we will call one window. So we will create one window inside this function. Uh, asking the city name or else we are sending some failure message here and if the we are same thing is doing in this else also so in that case password is not matching in that case we don't find any username with this email id so two different message are printed here. So let's create the open weather page function.
now here what we are doing we are just creating one window asking for city name so again i am copying just copying this is the same thing you know how to create the window so So nothing special here. We are just creating one window asking for the enter the city name. So when the after providing city name, user need to uh, click on check. So in the check button, we are calling one more function get weather. So this is the important function where we are calling the api so let's define the get weather So first thing we have to do is to import one package called request. So this package can parse the data from, uh, basically it can create one HTTP request and through this package, we can get the response also. So there is one method in request dot get. Here we have to provide the URL where the from where we will get the response. So so before uh, proceeding here, I just like to give the open the open weather website and give how to get the api so let's type open weather api okay. sorry So first of all, we, you have to create one account in OpenWeather. I have already created my account. So after signing in, you will get one API key. So for that, you have to go here, your account page, and you have to go to the API key tab. So here you will get your API key. After that, uh, you have to go to the API. All the thing is not free. This is free. Current weather data is free. So you can go to price tag and check what is free and how much money you have to pay if you want to use uh, if you want to use some other feature. So in API doc, inside API, you will get the detailed document how you can get the data by JSON format or XML format or HTML format. So for this, uh, suppose this, so if you type this, uh, URL. 
so you will get the json data of london so here q is equal to london and you can also search with city id you can also search with latitude longitude you can also search with zip code and uh, here are you can also uh, search with rectangular zone so you can read this and uh, whatever if uh, if we if you want to call you can call so after that uh, so one thing uh, like you can get this kind of format in json and you can also get in xml and here you can format which format you can uh, you want to get suppose temperature you want to get in celsius or fahrenheit so for that what you have to do or you want to get the xml format or json format for that you have to write mode mode is equal to xml or mode is equal to html by default mode is json so you don't have to mention that and metric so in metric uh, if you want centigrade temperature use unit equals matrix like provide one and here and unit equals matrix and if you want to for for one fahrenheit then you need it equals to imperial so you can read this api and you can do whatever you want so currently i am to calling this api this api So let me explain this API, API URL. Here Q, here we are uh, providing the second bracket because we want to replace it with city, the selected city here. And then matrix units equals matrix will get centigrade temperature. And app ID here you have to mention your key API key. Okay. So uh, first we have to get the city. So how can we get the city? Here you have mentioned the selected city here. So let me pass this. First, we have to get the string value. Well. 
then we have to pass this in format. Now pass this URL in get and you will get the data. As I have not mentioned any mode, so it will be by default in JSON format. So let's print the data. So it is not printing properly. So one thing I think uh, I have forgot. You have to pass it down for that data equals to JSON. So here you get the JSON format data. Now let's let's uh, format this. So because it is not uh, looking good. We cannot understand from this because it is single line. If I process this, so something is wrong. So as you see, this format is like the first, the whole thing in the second bracket. Then inside this second bracket, there is some entry like dictionary. 
So inside that dictionary, there is another dictionary. So it's basically Python dictionary. So you can get this. So if you want the coordinate, so what you have to write data under third bracket chord. So let's try. latitude data third bracket so inside that we have latitude and longitude so how can we get latitude again we have to provide third bracket then light in the same way we can get the longitude So let's try. We have to run again. So you see, you get the latitude and longitude value. In the same way, you can get the description, main description and uh, temperature, current temperature, what is the highest temperature, what is the minimum temperature? What is the humidity? So to get the temperature, what do you have to do? You have to go to main. So in the first, in the third bracket, first provide the main. Then under in the Second third bracket, you provide the max temperature, mean temperature, humidity. So like this, you can get the wind. Wind here. 
so one uh, thing is that uh, in main this temperature pressure are directly mentioned but inside the weather there is another second bracket means there is one another element so if you get uh, want to get the main then you have to go to weather first and third bracket mention weather then mention zero because this is the zeroth element here then inside this mention the main so like this like this so we are done basically so here uh, you have to first check whether the response is 200 or not it's, it's a successful response or 404 or something error code will be written if it is not successful re successful response so first check this and then just print this make a window and show this value in that window and else you mentioned that city not found so let's just copy this because this is the same thing Let's run some error. Okay. So I have changed the variable name. So it should be. SCD. Good. Now. So this error is basically uh, it cannot some data it cannot uh, encode. So that's why this error is coming. So it was not taking the degree value. So that's why this error was coming. I don't know why. Uh, here I have mentioned that degree centigrade. So it's not taking this. I don't know why. So let's run this.
right and check so it's done so you get all the details here so for today our session is done so have a nice day bye